So uh, dinner, and then went home, and uh, I try to hook the TV up real quick, and we are not detecting coaxial cable. All right, the old coaxial cable, the fucking aorta of television. <laughs> the coaxial cable is the main artery out of your heart of cable television. If you want Verizon television, no, not, you know, I could probably watch uh, uh, Amazon Prime and Netflix and, sh and shit. But even that wasn't working. Like anything coming out of the wall wasn't working. I'm like, what the fuck is this? No internet, no fucking. So, of course, I, I do what everyone's supposed to do this morning, afternoon, whenever the fuck I woke up. I decide to call Verizon customer service. The wait time may be longer than usual. No, no, it's usual. This is your usual. You can't say longer than usual every fucking time because then it's just usual. What, what, uh, longer than it was in 1985? It's always a long wait. And they'll always tell you wait times are longer than usual. That's the new usual. That's the new usual. That you just might as well go around and go, oh, my dick is shorter than usual today. It's shorter than usual. Is it always that length? Yeah, but it's shorter than usual. So don't get alarmed. <laughs> It's so fucked up. So uh, I, I, I call them up, and then they reschedule my call. Dude, remember when you used to call up and you get through and they go, oh, we'll schedule a guy to come over to your thing. It's like, oh, no. Now they literally reschedule the call you just made. Like, I'm calling. Oh, would you like to schedule a call? I'm on a call. Oh, was I fucking livid. But I rescheduled the call for 1P today and uh, they call back at 1p and I had to go through the voice menu all over again like if I and the voice menu for rescheduling the call was crazy but I did it and then you're waiting for the call and you expect like hi it's a live person you rescheduled this call obviously you, you expected a live person and here I am no another menu and I'm like but I rescheduled Then I hear it. I hear it like I've said it oh, for show after show back at, at AAF, at WNEW, at XM, at Sirius XM, here at Compound Media. I've done it so many times. Hello, this is Tom. How may I have? You're not fucking Tom. You're sitting in fucking India with a flow chart. For retards. I, I got, and immediately I go, look, I just want to let you know, and this doesn't work. I'm pretty savvy with this stuff. You could cut out all the basics. I know what uh, uh, cat five and six cables are. I know what ethernet is. I know wireless. I know coaxial cables. I know fuck. I know the router. I, I fuck. Please, please listen to what's not working. Listen to me, what's not working, and let's go from there. Is your router plugged in? You motherfucker. You motherfucker. We're going to have to do this, are we? We're going to have to do this. Run through the whole gamut of your retarded flowchart. Yes. It's bad, t over and over and over, which shit I just know. And then, uh, uh, did you plug in the, uh, the Ethernet cable to the WAN 60? Yes, yeah, it's plugged. It's the back of the router. I know it's coming out of the wall. It's going in the router. Are there lights on the router by the... No, the, I know that. That means there's no signal coming out of the fucking wall. I'm not getting shit coming out of it. I did a test and it shows that the service is going into your apartment. Yes, yes. It's not coming out of the wall. Look for a box in a closet, the main box. I have it. It's open. I have my flashlight on it. I'm looking at it right now. Like I'm 10 steps ahead of this fucking guy. 
What is the main box plugged into? It's like a main junction circuit board. It, it has a plug-in and then other uh, Ethernet wires that are forking, branching off of that hardwired in that are going to the various sockets around the house. So I'm, I'm, I'm fucking starting to unplug. Why? And he's like way behind me at this point. And now you're kind of stuck because he's on the phone. And I'm like, could you hold on, please? I put him on hold. I put, I mute him on the uh, speaker phone. First, he wanted me to go to this thing. He goes, click this link. It will give you video capability to show me. Show me what is going on. I should just put on my cock. Here's your coaxial cable, motherfucker. So I'm doing that, and I'm showing him stuff. Could you show me the wall? Is it plugged? Yes, it's plugged. He literally wanted to check to see if I had really plugged it in. Like I'm lying. <laughs> like I'm lying to him. Yeah, I plugged it in. Oh, fuck. He wants video? Uh-oh. Look, it was plugged in. I'm not, I'm not lying. <laughs> So I put him on a hold, and I'm like, okay, first thing I'm going to do, the, the uh, Cat6 cable, Ethernet cable that's going from the main box that's in this closet. It's like your main thing. Like, like the service goes into the box, and that's how it gets divvied up to your house. So I, I, I pull the cable out. It's this yellow Ethernet cable. Looks a little suspect. I have plenty of ethernet cable so i plug that in i plug it in light starts flashing i go back on hey we got internet <laughs> oh and then he goes he goes like this he goes mr kumia let me explain to you how this thing this was solved <laughs> i guess they need it on tape like he's supposed to explain to me how he solved the problem I guess that's part of what they tell him. Make sure you get a recorded thing of you telling the customer how you fix the problem. That way, if they call back and say the problem wasn't fixed, we have evidence that, you know, we told him. So he's telling me how he fixed the problem I fixed while he was muted. <laughs> These motherfuckers. Uh, Tom, Tom, what's up? Anthony, how are you doing? I'm oh, calling. it's my, it's my cable help guy, Tom. How are you? Very good, Tom. You were a lot of help earlier. Thank you so much. Uh, good. For... We fixed that up. No problem. Easy. I do everything. I'm helping you so good. You help with video footage. You don't show penis. I do very excited. Very well, happy. Tom, very happy. I don't think... Uh, I thought I heard the word penis in there. That doesn't sound like a technical term for routers or cable boxes or uh, Wi-Fi. You told me you wanted to show me your vanic cock like a coaxial cable. I heard oh, what you said. I didn't know you were listening. See, I do a comedy show here. It's very rare that you, you'll hear the comedy, but it is supposed to be a comedy show. Uh, and I apologize Understood. for that, Tom. I get I understand now you have more problem. You do try parking. Let me walk you through. First okay. thing, woman not allowed to doing drive. <laughs> So, so my first mistake was letting a woman drive my vehicle. Correct. So what you need to do, Anthony, did you unplug her from the seat and then plug her back into the seat? <laughs> if you're talking about her getting out and getting in, I don't know about plugging anything, but uh, I guess technically, yes. Okay. Then also you tell her, if she speaks, she go, I can get. Do you say, no, 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 no. You don't speak. I speak for you. Do you try that? Tom, are you sure you're from America? Very certain. I am from lovely part of Long Island called Mumbai. Mumbai, Long Island. Uh, one of the it's towns beautiful. I miss. It must be out past Shirley. Okay. Right past Mamaroneck. <laughs> Mamaroneck is upstate. <laughs> Next thing you must do, Anton. Yeah. When uh, if ladies say, "I got, I got you," first of all, does is is girlfriend you do living? She she has both hands still, or she has tried to take bread. <laughs> no, <laughs> no uh, Tom. She she has both hands still. That's good. That's good. I love your Mets of New York City. Now, you. 
next time yeah. when she say, I can get you in, have you tried another parking spot? Did you speak to someone in the lobby, say spot is too small? I, I will talk to somebody uh, probably when I get home later that uh, perhaps we can get a, di- a different, wider parking spot. Okay. I have a question for you now because we are both two hot, red-blooded, stinky fucking Americans. <laughs> Do you ever smell like you're just bathed in feces? Uh, after moving, I, I did. I needed a shower very badly. Do you know how to get rid of this smell? What is this shower you speak of? <laughs> I think from being from America, you'd know that, but I'll explain. It's a, a chamber, it seems, with a, a door on it, and you step into it, and water comes out of a, a, a faucet, a, a, a head, a sprinkler, on top, and, and bathes you in water, and then you take soap and rub it all over your body and then what? rinse that soap what off. Is, what? Wait. What yeah. was four-letter word you say? Soap? <laughs> so, soap. Is that a four-letter word on Long Island, right. on Mumbai, oh, Long Island? <laughs> very bad curse word. You do not say. If you say soap to someone, that is as bad or as good as raping nine women on the bus and then getting away with it in front of a tribunal. <laughs> I didn't know that. I, uh, You know, it's amazing how much Americans don't know about American culture, but foreigners that come here, oh, if, if indeed you were a foreigner, uh, right. come here and kind of know everything that we don't even know about America. Do you smell that? I know you're on the phone, but do you smell that? <laughs> it smells like someone lit a lynching on fire <laughs> and then threw gas pits on it. Do you gas smell it? Pits. I can smell something coming out of the, uh, the speakers here. I smell like it's, my whole nose is filled with this stinky fucking odor. And I can't tell if it's my crotch, the pits of my arms, or in between behind my knees, or my <laughs> hands, because I wipe my ass with my fingers before I eat rice with my <laughs> hands. <laughs> We've heard of that. The uh, You don't shake the... You, do you use your left hand so you're not shaking hands with the shit hand? Oh, uh, yes. The old expression, don't shake the hand that wipe your ass, that feed the mouth, that rape the girl. That's called the <laughs> duck that made the chicken walk. We seem to have gotten an edited version of that uh, here in the States, but uh, that that makes sense, too, uh, from Mumbai, Long Island, I would think. I don't want to keep you too long. I need you to figure <laughs> out your parking situation. If you have more problems, call back. Call Tom. You're also going to get a survey. If you fill out the entire <laughs> survey, we're going to send you a gift card for 19 rupee. You can use at any Optimum Internet branch. And also... August 19th to 21st, I see you're going to be in Cuyahoga Falls at the fucking funny stop. Yes, I even bought my plane ticket, and and it's ready to go. Ready to fucking go. I'm gone. So excited. Very excited. They didn't get tickets yet. They go to funny stop, (laughs) and they have a website set up. I don't handle it, but they do everything. (laughs) You can buy tickets. You're going to get free barbecue. You're going to have a cigar. You're going to hang out with everybody, watch show, have a good time. It sounds so much fun. Boy, you are a jack-of-all-trades, Tom. You know a little bit about a lot of things.